women want to hear songs sung by women that aren't just break my heart and I'll take you back. They want to hear more than that. The breeze is blowing the leaves from the trees. Everything is free. Everything but me. I wanted to be just like Patsy, but how could you be like Patsy? She's 25 years ahead of her time, and everybody thought I was 25 years behind my time. So, uh, <laughs> it's a mess. Patsy, she bless her heart. She done everything she could to help me. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the legendary queen of country music, Loretta Lynn! Well, I Loretta Lynn was always a legendary country figure, you know, not just because of the record she had, but because of her upbringing. She was the epitome of the country female singer, you know, and still is, I think. Women have had a rougher time than men in country music all through the years. But Loretta was one of the first, and of course, Tammy Gwinnett. The first time I ever saw Loretta Lynn was in Arizona. I was a disc jockey out there. And this beautiful little girl came in with the thickest accent I had ever heard in my life. But she was just gorgeous, you know, and she had this record with her and asked me if I would play it. When Duke bought me a guitar and uh, expected me to write songs and do this, well, I did not know how. And after he got me the guitar, I went out and bought a songbook, uh, the so Country Song Roundup. And I looked at the songs and I thought, well, this ain't nothing. Anybody can do this. And I wrote songs just like my mommy wrote. I wrote about things that happened. And I was writing about things that was going on that was not talked about by other people, maybe. And I didn't realize that they didn't, because I was having babies and staying at home. And I thought, well, gee, this is what's going on. I'll write about it. I can't, I don't dare get over there too close, friends. You all can see right up my dress tail, and I know it. <laughs> Right. I was probably about 10 years younger than most of the people that I was listening to who assumed heroic proportions to me. And I remember real clearly that I hated listening to pop music. I hated most of folk music because it was these interminable ballads that went on for 30 and 40 verses about people who had died long before I was born. And then all of a sudden, I started hearing people like Loretta Lynn. Loretta was writing her own songs. She was singing her own songs. She seemed to have control of her life. I'm going to save that for the rest of my life. When they're looking at me, they're looking at country. Put your Debbie on this. We're going to get the hat. Well, I might as well put it where it'll be seen. You bet I feel like I'm part of a heritage of country music because I think I'm part of getting the girls all started and letting them know that they can have families and work too. 